Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C-Square. In this example, we have a function f that is uh, given in uh, this picture and we are asked a bunch of questions. And the first one is, what is the domain and the range of f of x? So let's start with the domain. If you take a look to the picture, we notice that the function starts here, where x is negative 6 and end up right here when x is 11 right so we start at negative 6 and end up at 11. all these guys between represent the domain of this function so how are we going to write that we have two ways one is this way using the interval notation negative 6 11. another way we're going to use an inequality format negative 6 less or equals x less or equals 11. This is the domain of this function. What about the range? For the range, we're going to look also to the graph and we're going to look for the lowest value, which in this case is negative 3, and the highest value, which in this case is 4. Anything between negative 3 and 4 is part of our range you can get out any number between negative 3 and 4 so two ways negative 3 4 on both brackets because you have full dots or if you need the inequality format negative 3 less or equals y that is that goes with the range less or equals 4. Let's move to the next part, which says find the value of the function at 0, f of 0, that's the meaning. So we're going to go find 0 on uh, our graph, and we need to go up, and we get this point, which says 0 and 3, f of 0 is 3. Similar, we're going to do for f of negative 6. We're going to go on the number line, we're going to find negative 6, which is right here, and we notice Disorder pair f of negative 6 is nothing else than negative 3. Let's more move to part C where we are asked if f of 3 is positive or negative. If we take a look, 3 is right here, and we have to go up to get to our function f, and that is a positive value. f of 3 is a positive value. On part D, we are asked about f of negative 4. Is that positive or negative? And we're going to go here to negative 4, and we have to go down, and you notice uh, f of negative 4 is a negative value. Part E, for what value or values of x is the function equals to 0? When the function is equals to 0. So if we move on the line, the first time we notice the function is 0 right here. And we can really see that 0. Then if we keep going, we see one more time right here. And we see one more time right here. So whenever you see that 0, that is the moment where the function is 0. Negative 3, 6, and 10. These are the three values in this case. Part F, we are asked when the function is positive. And that means when the function is on top of the x-axis. And by the way, this is the x-axis. And we notice that happens here between negative 3 and 6. And here between 10 and 11 and you may need to put this sign which means union on these two interval the function is over the x-axis which means is positive part g they ask us what are the x-intercepts the x-intercepts are the point where the graph cross the x-axis one time here negative 3 and 0 the second time here, 6 and 0. And the third time here, 10 and 0. So if you ask yourself, that is that the same with the moment where the function is 0? You are correct about that. 
part h what is the y-intercept the y-intercept is the point where the graph cross the y-axis which is right here and is only one because it's a function the y-intercept is 0 and 3 let's move to the next one which says how often does the line y equals one half intersect the graph so one half one half y equals one half is right here and i'm going to draw on a horizontal line that means y equals one half and you need to know you need to count how many times this line intersects your graph f of x and that is three times okay so now let's move to the next part which says how often does the line x equals five intersects the graph uh, one two three four five right here right i'm gonna draw x equals five which is a vertical line and you notice we that x equals 5 intersects our graph only one time and that should be the case because this is a function you cannot have multiple points of intersection let's move to par part k or what value of x does the function is equal to 3 that's f of x equals 3 means so we have two choices you can take a look where the y is 3 which is here and here or you can grab the horizontal line y equals 3 and you notice the same story we have two moments when uh, the value of the function is 3 one time at x equals 0 and the second time at x equals 4 and now we're going to move to the last part which we are asked for what value of x does f of x equals negative 2. So again, we can take a look and notice negative 2 here and here. Or we can draw a horizontal line that represents y equals negative 2. And we notice we have two intersection points. One when x is negative 5 and the second one when x is 8. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back on C score for more help. Thank you.